Hey, good morning, Simple Church, and welcome to Splash Kingdom 2022. That's right, if you are watching this online, we hope that you'll go ahead and get up and get out of bed because you still have time. All the way up until noon today, you can get in Splash Kingdom for free. That's right, come out and enjoy a little family fun at Splash Kingdom and it costs you zero. So invite some friends and let them know. We'd love to see you out here. But if you're watching right now, the good news is you even have time to get up and be baptized today. We're gonna do a special baptism service today starting at 10 o'clock. And I just thought about over 15 years of Simple Church, all of these great baptism stories we have. And we just wanted to be able to celebrate that with you today. But before I get into all these different pictures, let me remind you, you still got time. If you get down here about 9.30, you can get in and be a part of the baptism that starts at 10 o'clock. So doors open at 9.30, baptism at 10. And make sure you get here before noon if you want to get in for free. Hey, and while we're out here, we got a little nostalgic going down memory lane, looking at all of these great pictures of over 15 years of baptisms here at Simple Church. And here's just a couple of little reminders. Uh, it's pretty awesome because we baptize in a lot of different locations from LSU Shreveport to the Scuba Place. I mean, we baptize in backyards, uh, Party Central, you name it. But Splash Kingdom has been one of the biggest and the best. But probably one of the craziest things that most people don't know is that I have signed personally every baptism certificate of anyone who's been baptized in Simple Church by hand. Not computer signature, but literally by hand. And it's been one of my greatest honors. We're talking over 3,000 plus baptisms over the years. And I just get honored to celebrate and look at each name and remember something special about them. But for example, here's another Splash Kingdom memory. It's gonna happen right now today. And we've got more memories like this than I can even account for. And many times people go, well, there's so many people getting baptized. Is it really, really special? Well, when I think about, when I look at all of these people in line, are individual stories because it's not just about this large crowd of people coming in. It is about you and your story. And we have seen these stories all around the world, not just here in Splash Kingdom, but in 15 years, one of my favorite memories is when I got to baptize in Africa. Uh, and what makes it special is every individual has a story. And me and Bill McConaughey got to go over and be a part of that. And it's something I still cherish this day because it's worldwide when you start thinking about the decision to go public with your faith, it doesn't matter if you're in Africa, if you're in Shreveport, or as this next picture, Honduras. You go, man, that's a blurry picture. Well, we actually baptized at dusk, so it was very difficult. But this was the Marcotte family when we got out of the water just going, man, what a great time to celebrate and to be thankful for that we get to be a part of it. So now you're talking Honduras, you're talking Africa, and even right now our kids are going to Panama City Beach. They're down at uh, camp down there, high school camp. Well, this is Jenna when I got to baptize her down there at Panama City Beach in high school camp, and I'll be down again doing some baptisms down there in the waters of the Gulf. And as I reflect on all of these different memories, there's so many cool stories. And the reason I'm sharing them with you is today, you may still be on the fence. Should I go, you know, be baptized? Should I go public with my faith? Should I get in, to be involved with that? Well, I can tell you that every time you do, step forward and go public, there's a story behind it and there's a smile behind it. And this is what makes it special for me. Each and every one is something that I cherish for the rest of my life. And I'm just so thankful for these pictures. And we capture every one of these baptisms by picture and by video. And next week, we'll kind of celebrate that and show you some of those recaps from today, actually while we're baptizing now. And if you wonder if it matters, I was at Planet Fitness once in my life. I hadn't been there very many times, but while I was there, this is what happened. The guy walked up to me, he goes, dude, I'll never forget the day that you baptized me. I'll never forget it. And he has it as his screensaver on his phone. This is why it matters to us. It's important to you. It's important to us as a family. And I want you to know it's our honor and our privilege to do that. So if you're thinking about it, get up, come on down today. You gotta be here by 10 o'clock. We'll make sure it happens. And to be honest, if you don't make it today, baptism is still so important. We can do it at another time. We can schedule that so we can be a part of your family. Uh, as I walk through all these pictures that reflecting on baptism and knowing that we were going to be out here today at Splash Kingdom celebrating another great baptism moment, I went back to individual stories. And when I saw this next picture, this one brought a little tear to my eye because it's Miss Donna Zilska. And she is one of my favorite people ever in the history of Simple Church, full of life. If you ever walked into Home Depot, she was one that was loud and fun and she had a great time. But look at that smile on her face and you'll know real quick just how important this moment was to her. 
And the sad part of the story is, I guess, or you could say the joyous part of the story is, is she passed away not too long ago. And as we were reflecting on moments in her life that were important as we celebrated her life, this is one of the moments that jumped out at, uh, to us, to her family, to just celebrate what God had done in her life and why it is an honor for us as a simple church just to be a, to be a part of it. Also, here's another pretty cool story. This is Richard. Um, when I talk about baptism in all baptism, excuse me, in all countries and all places, we're talking Panama City, Honduras, Africa, right here in Shreveport. But this is out on Cypress Lake, and this is a friend of mine by the name of Richard. He called me one day and said, man, I need to get baptized right now, and I want to do it in a big body of water, a natural body of water. So we went out to Cypress Lake. He rode his bike all the way to my house to make it happen. A uh, moment that I'll never forget and I'm extremely grateful for because it just showed again his commitment to go forward and to go public with his faith. Uh, one of my favorite people as well, how about my boy Spud right here. As I looked at all these baptism pictures, this was at Shreveport Convention Center when he decided to go public and I thought about Spud and I thought about his journey from the first time we started Simple Church when he was handing out ice cream on the very first grand opening of how it changed his life to where he got to the place where he wanted to go public with his faith in Christ and decided to follow Christ in Simple Church. And we get to do that together. We get to remember each and every story, remembering how important it is to each of us. Here's another one of my favorites as we get ready to go into 4th of July and the freedoms that we have. This is Luke Watson. Right before he got deployed, he came by, called me and said the same thing. Man, I wanna get baptized before I get deployed. And I was honored to do that out at Cypress Lake as well. And the reason I keep showing you all these different pictures is because every baptism is an individual story and it's a journey that someone's on. And so, although we have baptized thousands and thousands of people, I want you to know each and every story is extremely important to us. And probably one of my favorites is right here, Mr. Alvin. And you go, well, why is he your favorite? Well, it's the story behind his baptism. Yeah, he did not go to Simple Church, but someone that was a nurse, a hospice nurse, actually did go to Simple Church. And as she was taking care of Mr. Alvin, she realized that he had not made a decision to follow Christ, and he wanted to do that. And then, even in the last moments of his life, he wanted to go public with his faith. So I called up a good friend of mine, Putt Putman, who had just built a pool, and I said, hey Putt, Mr. Alvin lives close to you. Do you mind if we come over and go public with his baptism? And that smile on his face says it all because it reminds each and every one of us of the importance of making that decision. What's really cool too is he brought his family, brought his daughters. They all got to come over there and celebrate what God had done in his life. And just a few short weeks after that, he passed away. And I keep going back to that because that's why today's important. Uh, you're making a decision to follow Christ and you're letting the world know about that decision. And so many times we rush through things in life and you just kind of blow through and you don't really think about the importance or significance. Well, this is one of those moments today. It's people are going, why didn't we have service today? Why are we aren't meeting? We are having service. We're having one of the best services ever because each and every person that comes out here, I don't care if it's 20 or 100, we don't really know what that number's gonna be. Hopefully we'll have a great turnout. But when we do it, it's about each individual story and the importance and significance of that decision to follow Christ. Probably my favorite story recently is when we went through the battle of COVID, uh, one of my dear friends at Simple Church, Bob Ray, passed away. And his son posted this on uh, social media when he started talking about how difficult it was to see his dad pass away unexpectedly, battling all of that. And this has been right in the middle of the pandemic. But what gave us peace and what gave him peace and what reminded us of the importance and significance of today's like today is these posts, these stories. Brian was actually able to baptize him and this picture was in Bob's house. And when his sons came in as they're cleaning up the house and mourning his loss, it gave them peace and comfort knowing that Bob had gone public with his decision to follow Christ in the Simple Church. And we got to be a part of that. So with all that being said, I don't want to take a lot of time this morning. Uh, there's a lot of messages you can watch online, but if you're sitting here and you're wondering where we are and what we're doing today, uh, we've been baptizing in North Dallas, which is awesome and which is really, really cool. So not only are we baptizing in Shreveport today at Splash Kingdom over in North Dallas, they're having a great baptism experience this morning. And I just tell you, thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part. Thank you for honoring us with 
uh, your journey with your family because it is about all your family coming out and celebrating this uh, special occasion and we consider it a great honor and we're just extremely grateful. Uh, we'll be posting the pictures next week. We'll be putting the video up a little recap because we're also no services on 4th of July weekend. We'll be talking about that here in just a little bit but make sure you tune in. There'll be online services but no live services in the Shreveport Convention Center. Uh, we will post something online so that you can watch it but be looking for a recap video of what happened today next week because we can't wait to celebrate just a little bit of what God did right here uh, on this campus Splash Kingdom of 2022. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for letting us be a part. And I just want to say a prayer for everybody watching and all of those that are out here today as we celebrate it. And want you to know just how thankful you are that we get to partner with you of moments just like this. Would you pray with me? Father, I thank you again just for this beautiful day. I thank you for all of these families coming out to just celebrate what you're doing in their lives. And I know those watching online, I pray that they'll be encouraged and maybe they'll be challenged to step forward and go uh, that next step with going public with their faith. If that's today, if they're getting up right now and they can make it down here before 9, 30, 10 o'clock, God, then we would be honored to be a part of that. But if it's in the days or the months ahead, I pray that they will mark their calendars and they'll mark their hearts and saying, God, I wanna do this as soon as possible. And they can email us, they can let us know uh, about this decision so that we can celebrate it as well. It may be in a backyard, it may be at a pool, in a public place, it may be at Splash Kingdom, or it may be down on the beach. Wherever they are, wherever this journey leads them, Lord, I'm so thankful that you showed us what it was to be baptized. You told us that it was about going public with that commitment, letting the world know that you had changed their lives, and we get to do that together and celebrate that. So if somebody's ready to do that, God, I pray that they would make this day a marker for them as well. I thank you again for everybody that watches. I can't wait to see them again when we get back together for live services on July 10th, but I pray that they'll tune in next week as we talk about another great message to encourage them and help them as they go through 4th of July, some family time with their friends. So thank you again, and I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, tune in next week because we got another special service for you. July 3rd, no live services in Shreveport Convention Center. It will be online services only so you can spend some time with your family and your friends and be looking for a recap video of what happened at Splash Kingdom. So thanks for watching and until next week, what do we say? Peace.